this was my idea, so feel free to talk me out of it. Mm. Why bother? I know how stubborn you are. <laughs> I'm serious. Maybe this is a major reaction to a horrible tragedy. Well, it's really unfortunate it took Jake's death to realize what we we're missing. To be grateful for what we have. But if marriage counseling helps us get back to a good place, then I think we have to try. And if it doesn't work, then we try something else. We keep trying until we get it right. Thank you. I really needed to hear that. I'm ready to move on. I just wish that I could take back all the mistakes I've made. I really wish we never met Lisa. <laughs> I am not spying on Patrick. You said that you'd been called by the hospital. So you followed me here? Okay, who's the stalker now? I'm actually just here for takeout. You're lying. So are you. Really? Watch and learn. Shut you out when they need it. No. Don't do that. Don't don't make excuses for something that I. Hey, I'm I'm sorry to interrupt. I just wanted to let you know that I finished the ER rotation and I set up the schedule for the rest of the week. So Steve won't have to worry about that when he gets back to work. Will you ever leave us alone? I offered to finish organizing the ER rotation. I am sorry if that threatens you, but Steve needs all the support he can get. It's way too late for you to play nice. Any other doctor goes through all this trouble. You guys would think it was great, huh? But Lisa can't win. Hell, I'll bet the two of you were hoping Lisa was the one who hit that little boy. You were disappointed when the charge is cleared. Okay, that's enough. Lisa, thank you very much for the update. Next time, you can email me. I didn't mean to upset you. I am just trying to pick up the slack during a difficult time at work. I don't understand why that is such a... Okay, okay. That's who you need to grow up, huh? Stop blaming everything bad that happens in the world on her. I am so over the both of them. Oh, how brave are you feeling right now? Uh oh. So nervous. Okay, what's an introductory session? I think you talk about what you expect from therapy and maybe agree on a schedule. So just to commit to show up. I think so. Great. You think we can be there in 15 minutes? Yeah, I mean, if we hurry, we might as well do it. It'll help us from talking ourselves out of it. I'm in. If you're in, I'm in. Okay. All right, let's go. Well, I think that was a good first session for us. Yeah, so do I. I, um, I like the therapist. Think you did? Yeah. We certainly talked a lot. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Is that okay? Of course, of course it's okay. I meant it as a compliment. You were just less tense than I was. Which is ironic. I, uh, I figured it'd be the other way around. I was babbling like a fool and you were <laughs> controlled, as usual. Sarah, I don't know why I make things so difficult. It's like I let my worst fears come true. I, I don't think, I don't think that's what's happening. I think we're both doing really well. I think we're ready to take a very important step. Real dinner tonight. Real wine, real candles, real wait staff. Me and you, real dinner. That sounds wonderful. Yeah? Yeah. What, what about that new place on Hudson? It's got great reviews. It's a little late. You think we can get a table? Oh, you know what? I told Stephanie that she could get off early tonight. She wants to meet some friends in the city, you know, one of those clubs that doesn't even open till midnight. <laughs> yeah, I know one of those clubs. Oh, well. Call the restaurant, tell them we're underway. I have an idea. Christina? Yeah, hey. Do you hey. remember when you told us you'd babysit for us? How about tonight? I'd be happy to. Yeah, I have my car and I can just drive us there. Oh, thank you. Yes, you can um, follow us home and Emma will be sleeping already. Oh, well, if she wakes up, I can always read to her from my six book. <laughs> that will put anyone to sleep. <laughs> sounds like a plan. And Grace, stay out as late as you want. Emma and I will be just fine. Oh, thank you. He's right. 